Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how hydraulics work using a log splitter as an example. A log splitter is a very simple machine that'll give you a good understanding of how hydraulics work. First thing about hydraulics is you need a power source. So this has a 190cc Honda GC motor. Underneath here, you have a connection that connects this to a pump. So this engine is what turns the pump and that gives you your power to pump the fluid. So generally you're gonna use a hydraulic fluid inside the unit, but there are other applications where they use transmission fluid and uh, farmers, they will actually use vegetable oil because they don't want their hydraulic lines bursting in the middle of their field and then you have a big puddle of toxic oil that's ruining their soil and ruining their crops. So there's a few different fluids you can use. But anyways, what this does is this here is a return line and this is the reservoir. This is full with oil up to about here. And it's important that you keep your oil level up because you need the oil in there to circulate through the system because when the cylinder is activating, it's gonna cause heat to build up. So if your fluid is going through the system and it's not cooling down as much, then you're gonna have problems with the engine, with the, with the system overheating and causing damage to the system, okay? Now this is a very high pressure line. Like I said, the 3000 PSI, these lines are rated for 4000 PSI. And then this line is feeding into a control valve. So this control valve is gonna give you the operation of the cylinder. Now you can see there's two ports cylinder and that means this cylinder acts two way. But the way this setup is, this is only, this is a cutting edge. So it's only cutting on the down end. It's not cutting on the, on the way back, but it has power to, to, to uh, draw the cylinder back in. So when that rod inside the cylinder extends all the way down to the bottom and up to the top, that's what you call a hydraulic cycle, right? So it's a back and forth, it's a complete cycle. This happens to be about 13 seconds cycle time. You see the port here, it's pushing one way, up here it's pushing the other way. So you're getting your fluid pumped into the valve, then as the fluid is dispersed and it's pushing back and forth, then it's pushed through this line, back down into the filter. And you're gonna need that filter there to, feed, to filter out particles. Uh, maybe there's a little damage inside the unit and it's gonna help filter those things so that they go, don't go through the system and damage the system more. A unit like this is not upgradable because the problem is you're limited by the hydraulic tank. So you can put a bigger engine, you can put a bigger pump, you can put a big, bigger lines, but the problem is it's not holding enough fluid so it's just gonna overheat on you. Also, you have to make, you, make sure you change your line so your oil after a certain amount of time depending on how much you use the machine because the oil starts to develop air bubbles and then those air bubbles will cause cavitation in the system and it will damage your pump right so these things are very easy to maintain there's not much to them it's a little tricky i guess the trickiest part about changing this or changing anything on this is the valve you just gotta know how the valve is set up to know where your lines go and everything so all the so that all your fittings line up that's basically it about the hydraulic cylinder and there's not much to know beyond that except much more technical knowledge i've used this unit for about uh, seven years and the only thing I've had to change is the valve here itself and the filter and some of the lines. So nothing major. I haven't had to change the motor. Uh, I haven't had to change the pump, uh, the Lovejoy connection with the power shaft connecting to the pump. Very simple to, to understand, but all it is, it's just pushing oil. And I find it amazing that you can use fluid to, or you can push fluid to get that much power. So um, anytime you see excavators, garbage trucks, um, skid steers, anything moving with mechanical arms and then you see the hoses all over them, that's what hydraulics are.